Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio. Today we will be listening to a presentation from ProLevy Bio and CEO Sahil Gupta. Welcome Sahil and please, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Cecilia. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We at ProLevy Bio focus on biomimicking the therapy for metabolic disorders. We focus on thyroid, which is a butterfly-shaped organ that is a master regulator of metabolism in your entire body. It secretes two hormones, T3, the active hormone, and T4, the inactive hormone. The indication we focus on is hypothyroidism, which means underactive thyroid. In other words, too low thyroid hormones. Patients suffering from the disease suffer from broad symptoms, such as weight gain, increased anxiety, sleep deprivation, and memory loss. The patients are told that this is due to their lifestyle choices, rather than the genetic predisposition that they suffer from. The current line of treatment includes thyroid hormone formulation with inactive T4 hormone. However, 15 to 20% of these patients cannot convert the inactive T4 to the active T3 hormone. The second line of treatment is an immediate release formulation for T3. However, it has to be dosed two to three times a day that leads to poor patient compliance and it has an unsuitable release profile as you can see in the graph below because this does not closely resemble the natural release cycles as you see in the orange. There are 750 million patients suffering worldwide from the disease. 600 million of those are dissatisfied on the first line of treatment, even though that was the fourth most sold drug globally last year. The tire market is expected to be worth 2.8 billion US dollars by 28. Out of those 600 million patients, 450 million report poor quality of life. In fact, one in eight in Sweden alone suffering from the disease are too ill to go to work, and that costs the Swedish economy 600 million euros in losses per year alone. And for 150 million of these patients, the current treatment does not work at all, and this is what we focus on. Also important to note that 80% of these patients are women. Our solution is simple, a single dose T3 formulation that closely mimics the release profile of the natural hormone, also known as the circadian rhythm. We have demonstrated feasibility in FDA approved preclinical models. Our technology is a patent pending drug delivery technology and we can deliver any known or unknown hormone or molecule in a 2 to 12 hour delayed release profile with natural hormone kinetics. The rate of API release is controlled by polymers that are forming the tablet. We have the priority date for 2022 for our patent application. We have demonstrated in FDA accepted in vitro dissolution uh, model that there's no need for animal experiments for T3. And this has also been validated by the regulatory authorities. The dissolution setup was modeled at the University of Copenhagen and we have an excellent prediction of dissolution profiles of all tested and existing formulations. Very briefly about the team, it includes me, who's the CEO and founder. I have a background in immunology. Apart from me, there is Daniel Barshalom, who's my co-founder and mentor. He's associate professor at University of Copenhagen and a recently appointed fellow of Controlled Release Society. He has more than 100 patents under his belt. We have Kush Ponyani, founding investors, background in science, who assists us with our uh, strategy. We have Anna Gizelson, who's from Almi Invest and our investment manager. Uh, she is uh, leading our next funding round for us. We have Edward Hull, who has a background in economics and is a lawyer and assists us with our legal strategy. And finally, we have Johan Schellstrand, who's also our founding investor and assists us with our marketing and go-to strategy. Very briefly about the company, we conceived and founded the company in December 21. The invention was then filed uh, through the very strong patent early in 22 and updated in quarter three of the last year. We are continuing our R&D efforts in that front. In terms of manufacturing and logistics, we have identified our phase one site, our production facility, and are transferring the methods from our lab to the production lab. 
In terms of regulatory plan, we have been endorsed by the regulatory authorities regarding our clinical plan and have a very positive assessment from them. We plan to file our phase one study for submission in quarter one of 23. We closed a financing round uh, last year in quarter two uh, that helped us prepare for this phase one trial and develop further R&D and strengthening our IP portfolio work. And we are now opening our next round in quarter one uh, this year. With that note, please do not hesitate to contact me. And back to you, Cecilia. Thank you so much, Sahil, for that really interesting presentation. I just have two short questions to, to round this off with. So first of all, could you just in short tell me what you hope to achieve with this innovation of yours? So firstly, we want our treatment to be an alternative to these patients for whom the current treatment doesn't work. And we want a better prescription choice for the clinicians. So that is our aim. You talked here about hypothyroidism, of course, but um, I was just wondering, are there other indications that this technology could potentially work in? Yeah, uh, we do have a few concepts in the pipeline. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep our eyes open for that then. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.